Your Serene Highness, Albert II, Sovereign Prince of Monaco, distinguished members of the Monegasque delegation, Secretary of Serenel Mendes, members of the cabinet present, members of the Senate, and members of the House of Representatives present, Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Ambassador Maria Teresa Lazaro, whom we miss dearly, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, it's a distinct pleasure to welcome His Serene Highness, Prince Albert II of Morocco, back to our country. Indeed, over the years, His Serene Highness and other members of the Monegasque royal family have become close friends of the Filipino people. More than 16 years ago, our people welcomed the prince during his last visit to the Philippines. In 2004, we also welcomed his sister, Caroline, Princess of Hanover, and in 2006, we welcomed his eldest nephew, Andrea. Their visits here were not once characterized by leisure. They made it a point to make a genuine connection by truly interacting with our people, even visiting areas like Payatas to meet less fortunate children. There is even a photo of His Serene Highness from 1999 enjoying a dance with some of our indigenous people. For this visit, I'm told that His Serene Highness will be visiting the Tubataha Reefs Natural Park in Palawan, which I am confident will lend credence to our claim that it is indeed more fun in the Philippines. Our people's repeated interaction with the Monegasque royal family are enduring symbols of a friendship that goes beyond diplomacy. In fact, even before our diplomatic relations were formally established, you have been helping Filipinos through a month, assisting victims of child abuse and exploitation and funding critical research for various illnesses. The people of Monaco have always come through for our people in times of need, and perhaps there is no greater example than during the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan. While your state may not be the largest in the world, you still committed several hundred thousand euros to help those affected. You have helped prevent epidemics and rebuild infrastructure, and I speak on behalf of the Filipino people when I say we will never forget your kindness. The true fellowship of nations has always been about our willingness to reach out to our brothers and sisters from other nations, to strengthen our ties with one another as we seek to build a better future for all peoples. Monaco may be far away, and it may, it may be a relatively small country, but you reached out to the Philippines, you have made your kindness felt, and you will always be welcome on our shores. On this note, may I ask everyone to join me in a toast? To the good health of His Serene Highness, Prince Albert II of Monaco, and the Monegasque royal family, to the strengthening bond between the people of Monaco and the Filipino people, and to the shared future towards which both our countries are working. Here in the Philippines, we say, Mabuay. Mabuay. Boy. <laughs> Mr. President, Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Uh, I'm very grateful for your kind words, Mr. President, and I'd like to present uh, my heartfelt thanks uh, and that of my delegation for the quality of the welcome that you have afforded uh, us uh, since uh, we uh, set foot uh, on Filipino soil uh, yesterday evening. Um, not only uh, uh, also the members of my delegation have been touched by the kindness and marks of friendship we have uh, been shown since our arrival, but uh, I, my, my family also, over the years, thanks you for this uh, exceptional welcome. Despite the scale difference of our countries of size and means, I'm delighted that after our exchanges, we have identified a number of subjects that will contribute to reinforcing our ties. Some of these areas of collaboration concern, uh, of course, the economy, but also culture and humanitarian, environmental, or even scientific research. Our countries share affinities on on environmental matters, such as the, the desire to build a future based on sound environment and sustainable development means in respect toward the territories that, that we live in. As you know, I'll be, I'll be visiting uh, the uh, wonderful Tubataha Reefs National Park, uh, where the preservation of its exceptional marine biodiversity is an absolute treasure and an absolute necessity to, to protect it even further. Fighting climate change is an imperative and an objective for, for our planet. Uh, we have, uh, of 
course, address this at the COP21 meeting in Paris, and I thank you for your leadership also in this, in this respect and in contributing to reaching the final agreement. And your countries, uh, and your country suffers uh, uh, more than anybody else, I think, from the, uh, uh, from the dramatic effects of, of climate change uh, due to various, various uh, uh, episodes of, uh, of extreme weather events. You know how important th those issues are to me and how strongly committed I am as a head of state, but also as acting th through my foundation uh, to raise both the public's and, and the authorities' awareness of the impact of, of human activities on our natural environment. This is a fundamental subject which requires joint action either within international organizations such as the UN or other international fora. Let me express once again my great pleasure to be with you here today and uh, to have uh, succeeded in the signing of our uh, agreement of cooperation. So uh, may you, you all join us, please, uh, in raising our glasses, uh, Mr. President, to the Republic of the Philippines' future, to its prosperity, to the happiness of its people, and of course, to expanding the collaboration and friendship between our two countries. Thank you.